attention guys today our topic for discussion is internal combustion engines now in this topic we are going to know about what is meant by internal combustion engines its basic parts and components their types and application of internal combustion engines etc uh, now we know as per the first law of thermodynamics energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only converted from one form to another form so engine engine is a device which converts uh, we can say that engine is a device which utilizes chemical form of a fuel to its uh, convert it in its mechanical work so engines are basically of two types one is a internal combustion engine and another is a external combustion engines examples of internal combustion engines are petrol engine and diesel engine which we use in our day to day life in our car and other vehicles for external combustion engines the example is steam engine now we will know what is combustion combustion uh, combustion is also known as burning it is the basic chemical process of releasing the energy from the fuel and air mixture in an internal combustion engine the ignition and the combustion of fuel occurs within inside the engine that is it occurs inside the cylinder of that engine hence it is known as internal combustion engines now let's us uh, see what are the basic parts of an engine for that we have to draw a simple schematic diagram of engine major components of an ic engine now let us see what are the major components in this engine so this part this part of the engine is known as cylinder this whole part cylinder cylinder is a outer body of engine which houses piston and other parts of the engine engine can have one or multiple number of cylinders according to its application uh, positioning of this cylinder can be horizontal vertical or in v shapes now let's uh, let us move to another part this part is known as piston piston is placed inside the cylinder the movement of piston is up and down that is from pdc to bdc this part is p d c and this is b d c piston moves from p d c to b d c that is p d c is a top dead center and b d c is known as bottom dead center let us understand what is meant by a stroke when the piston moves when is piston is at p d c and moves to b d c then this movement from p d c to b d c is known as one stroke and according to the stroke engine can be classified as two categories for this let us know what are the uh, stroke based classification of engine for one complete function of this internal combustion engines there are four processes which engine should complete the processes are suction compression expansion and exhaust when engine complete these processes all four processes in two stroke that engine is known as two stroke engine and the, when the engine complete these four processes in four strokes then the engine is known as four stroke engine basically the two stroke engine are uh, used in motorcycles and the four stroke engine are used in loading vehicles such as a truck car etc now let us move to the another part that this part is known as connecting rod connecting rod connects the piston and the crankshaft this part is known as piston pin it is also known as virgin pin it connects the piston and the piston rod now this part this part is known as crank the function of crank is to convert the reciprocating moment that is up and down moment of this piston into rotational motion 
Now this part is known as crankshaft. Crankshaft. Now let us know the remaining parts. That parts are the walls and the spark plug. There are two walls present in the internal combustion engine. One is inlet wall and another is exhaust wall. The function of these two walls are to control the inlet and the exhaust of the combustion chamber. Uh, now, how can we identify which one is inlet wall and which one is exhaust wall? So, it is very simple to identify. Uh, the inlet wall having a larger diameter than the exhaust wall. That is, the exhaust wall diameter is small and the inlet wall diameter is large. Now, let us know what is meant by combustion chamber. This part of the cylinder is known as combustion chamber where the air and fuel mixture is taken as inlet and the combustion occurs inside this part of the cylinder. This is known as combustion chamber. Now let us know about spark plug. This is the spark plug. Spark plug it ignites the air and fuel mixture by providing a spark after compression. It is mainly observed in petrol engines. But in diesel engine, in place of spark plug, there is a injector. The function of injector is to inject the fuel after the compression of air. It is easy to recognize which one is diesel engine and which one is petrol engine from this part. If there is a spark plug, then it is a petrol engine and if there is a fuel injector, then it is diesel engine. Now, let us simply understand the working of internal combustion engine. The working contains four stroke operations that is suction, compression, expansion and exhaust. As I already told, when the piston moves from PDC to BDC or BDC to TDC, it is known as one stroke. During first stroke, the piston moves from TDC to BDC and the inlet wall is open which allows the mixture of air and fuel to come inside the compression chamber. This process is known as suction. Then during the second stroke, when both the walls are kept closed and the piston moves again from the bottom deck center to top deck center. This process is known as compression. When the compression happens, the temperature and the pressure inside the combustion chamber increases. Third stroke is expansion stroke. This stroke is also known as power stroke or energy stroke. After compression, expansion of burnt gases takes place. The piston again moves from TDC to BDC. It is a process when our engine gets power. Uh, the last stroke is a exhaust stroke. Uh, in exhaust stroke, uh, the burnt gases are taken out as the exhaust wall is kept open and the piston moves from VDC to TDC. In this way, our four stroke engine, internal combustion engine works. These four processes of working of our engine happens thousands of time in a minute. Now, my colleagues Vinayak and Tejas will told you about the difference between diesel engine and petrol engine. So, let's move to the another class where they are waiting. In internal combustion engines, there are two types of engines, petrol engine and diesel engine. The first one is petrol engine. Petrol engine is an uh, IC engine which works with the principle of uh, spark ignition. Diesel engine is an IC engine which works on the principle of compression ignition. So it consists of four process operations. First, uh, suction. Second, compression. Third, uh, expansion. And fourth, uh, exhaust. In this engine, air and fuel mixture is taken from inlet port to the combustion chamber. This is called as suction. Uh, when piston moves from TDC to BDC.
द मिक्सचर गेट कंप्रेस्ड एंड इट इज इग्नाइटेड बाय प्रोवाइडिंग स्पार्क थ्रू द स्पार्क प्लग देन द एक्सपांशन टेक्स प्लेस Burn gases are taken out through exhaust port. Here, combustion happens at constant volume. It has low compression ratio. Efficiency of this engine is less as compared to diesel engine. Its fuel consumption is high, uh, hence running cost also increases. It makes less noise. It is used for light duty applications, example, uh, bike engine. in diesel engine there are same process as petrol engine first suction second compression third combustion fourth exhaust but during suction only air is taken through inlet valve to combustion chamber and piston moves from tdc to vdc here pressure is kept constant when piston moves from bdc to tdc air get compressed due to compression pressure and temperature level increases then diesel is injected through injector the ignition is induced by heat generated by compression of air there is no need of spark plug because engine has high compression ratio fuel consumption of this engine is low therefore efficiency increases running cost is low it makes more noise while working application of the diesel engines are truck engine and it is used for heavy duty application